Okay, today we're going to do some problem solving with our fractions, and they are usually going to be more than one step. That's why it says multi-step fraction problems up here. So let's read the first one that's in front of us. A gift shop sells walnuts in three-fourths pound bags. Anne will buy some bags of walnuts and repackage them into one pound bags. What is the least number of three-fourths pound bags Anne could buy if she wants to fill each one pound bag without leftovers? Okay, so take a look at what they're doing here. Pay close attention to what you're writing in here because you're going to have to write it when you get to the second page. Notice how you have nothing to fill in? So what they write here is what we're going to need to change over on the other side to match our problem. So first thing is, what do I need to find? So I need to find out how many what bags of walnuts Anne needs to make one pound bag of walnuts without any leftovers. Morgan, what are we searching for here? Three fourths. Well, but what's it measured in? Okay, so three fourths. So we want to know how many three-fourths pound bags of walnuts she's going to need to make one pound bags of walnuts without any leftover. So what is the information I need to use? It says here the bag she will buy contain what pound of walnuts? What is she able to buy? Kinsey? Three-fourths pound. Okay, but she wants to repackage it into one pound. So instead of having three-fourths pound of bags, she wants to put them in one pound bags. And she wants hers to be larger. So it says, how will I use the information? I can use fraction circles to blank the problem. What am I doing when I have fraction circles over here? Think about some of the strategies that we've talked about. What do we call it when we draw it all out or we get it all out? We call it acting it out. So I can use fraction circles to act out the problem. And you're going to do that over here on the right. Now they've done a lot of work for you. So I want you to make sure that when we're discussing this, you're looking at what they did. Because when we get to this page, did they do anything for you? No. No, you have to start from scratch. So we're going to describe how to act it out by using fraction circles. So what they did was they took her one three-fourth pound bag. So this would be her bag that she would buy at the store. Are you with me? If we want to put it in a one pound bag, we know that that's not enough. So she can't just buy one, right? Because we know three-fourths is less than a pound, correct? So that means we have to go and see if two pounds would work. So she buys two three-fourths pound bags. So you can see that they've got two circles with three-fourths. We know that three-fourths plus three-fourths gives us what? Six-fourths together. So then look at what they did over here. They took it and put it together so they can see how many one-pound bags they have and how many they have left over. Do they have leftovers? So can she just buy two then? She has to keep going, right? So as you can see, your problems or equations are going to look like this, and you may have to do this multiple times to get what it's asking of us. Okay, so let's talk about the three. If we did three three-fourths pound bags, that's going to be, read with me, three-fourths plus three-fourths, plus three-fourths, which gives me what? Nine-fourths. So she has nine-fourths pounds of walnuts. Yes. Now if I was to draw out a picture, I would have three of these, like this, right? But then when I drew it over here, would it equal out to be even, or would I still have some leftovers? All right, so how many times does four go into nine? Two times, right? So that means we would need two one-pound bags. But what's left over still? One four. fourth, because we're in fourths. Okay. So notice how they started to draw the pictures, but then they stopped drawing the pictures because you can still do the equations and come up with the problem. Are we done? No, because. 
because we haven't gotten to the point where we do not have any leftovers. So far we had one, we didn't have enough here, we had two fourths left over here, we now have one fourth left over here, so we're going to buy how many? She's going to buy another one, so that means four and three fourths pound bags. So read with me, three fourths plus three fourths plus three fourths plus three fourths equals twelve fourths. Three times four is twelve. So how many times does that make for one pound? How many times does four go into twelve? Three. Three. And are there any extras? So there's nothing left over this time. So that means that Anne's going to buy how many three-fourths pound bags of walnuts? Four. Right here is where we were at. So it takes four three-fourths pound bags in order to make three one pound bags and don't have any leftovers. Now, could we have drawn out all of the fraction circles to go along with all of these? Yeah, but do we need to? No. So it might not be a bad idea to start it out, see what's happening, and then you can just use the equations to find out what you need. Okay, so that time we had to take four different bags just to make what you needed. Now, there may come a time where you have to do that seven times. Okay? So you may have questions on what we just did, because you're going to do another one starting from scratch on the next page. All right, let's look. Not going to be the same kind of thing. We have something different to try. I will on All right, at the end of dinner, a restaurant had several dishes of quiche, each with two six-sized pieces of quiche. The chef was able to combine these pieces to make two whole quiches with no leftovers. How many dishes did the chef combine? Now, we didn't highlight on the last one, so let's make sure we do here because we have to figure out all of the information that goes in here. Our question is, how many dishes? The chef combined. You can tell me the information I need to circle to be able to use, Cheyenne. So two six size pieces. <coughs> two whole with no leftovers, right? So we want to make sure that we understand that we do not want leftovers. Okay? We want to make sure that everything's even, no leftovers when we're finished. Correct? Okay, so now if you need help with what we need to find, you're going to go back and you're going to look at what they talked about. This time I needed to find how many three-fourths pounds bags of walnuts and needs to make one pound bag of walnuts without leftovers. Now think about what we are doing right here. Who thinks they can tell me what we're going to need to find? Look at your problem. Think about what they wrote on the other side. How are we going to start ours out? Obviously, we're going to start with, I need to find. <coughs> then look up there for what it's asking for. I need to find. What are we looking for this time? Damaris? Well, but you need to tell me how many pieces or what size of pieces. So how many what? What am I looking for? Two, six pieces of quiche. The chef combined. What's he combining them into? Two whole. Quiches. And what do we not want to forget? Without leftovers. Everybody see that okay? I need to find how many two six pieces of quiche 
this chef combined into two whole quiches without leftovers. While you're waiting on others to write, think about the information we're going to write in the next box. What is it I'm going to be using to figure out my problem? Let's think about the dishes. What does each dish have? Two-sixths of a quiche, right? So that's the first thing we need. Each dish has two-sixths of a quiche. And what was the chef able to do? <coughs> Can't see what's he doing with those. Okay, so the chef combined the two six pieces to make two whole quiches. And again, with no leftovers. If we keep saying it, we won't forget that part. Each dish has two sixths of a quiche, and the chef combined the two six pieces to make two whole quiches with no leftovers. And the biggest box they give you has the shortest sentence in it. Think about what we wrote for how we're going to figure this out. How am I going to use the information I have? Go back and look at what they wrote. Can we use the same thing? So what did they say? I can use fraction circles. To act out the problem. So they gave you a big, huge box for that one sentence. Should have given you more room on the others. So we're going to use fraction circles again. Again. use now the information we just put over here and let's start by drawing out our fraction circles. So what am I going to draw? Think about what we drew on the other side. It was a three-fourth pound bag of walnuts trying to get to one pound bags without leftovers. This is six size pieces, right? <coughs> trying to get to Two holes using two six size pieces. So, what is my circle going to look like? What's the pieces going to be in it? This, right? So, we're going to make our first dish. Let's make a circle. And you can do better than what I just did. I made a line down the middle and then an X to make six. Try to make it as equal as possible. So line down the center. And then an X that is equal to give you close to equal pieces. So this is my first dish. What do I have to make sure I shave for my first dish? Two parts. <laughs> 